Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you've had an opportunity to watch my makeup tutorial where I created this makeup look using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And now I'm going to show you guys some swatches of the palette as well as talk to you all about my first impressions of the palette. So if you'd like to learn more about what I think of this Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, then please continue to watch. Let's just talk about it and as I'm talking, I'll insert the swatches of the 35 shades. So again, here's the palette. My first impressions of this palette are very, very good. I have heard um, mixed reviews of the palette. Most of what I have heard about this palette has been positive, but I have heard some people complain about stuff like the, the cover, and I do think that this will eventually get dirty. But I also, thought that the Modern Renaissance cover or palette packaging wasn't necessarily practical either, but I still liked it. I still liked having the pink um, velvet, so I don't care that it's white. I really like the white. Now, as far as the shadows themselves, I have heard that Morphe kind of put something additional into the production of this palette, which is why it's more expensive, and that it was pressed differently than the other shadows. And I believe, I can't say for sure that I can tell this humongous difference between this palette and the other shadows because I don't really have them side by side, but I will say that it did seem like the mattes were very blendable. That could be very well true. It could be that this is a better version of the other Morphe palettes. What I'm excited about is that these are all shadows that work well for me. Now, let me be selfish. I'm selfish. <laughs> but sometimes it's really difficult to find eyeshadow palettes that work well for women of color. So Morphe has been good to me so far and I have not had many issues with their palettes and this is no different. What I, I do think that of all of the palettes that I have, even including the 35O matte and shimmer palette, this is my favorite one by far. because of the range of colors. That in itself, in addition to the quality of the shadows for the price, is hands down the reason why I'm going to rate this as my favorite Morphe palette. I just swatched these colors and I cannot imagine, I mean, there are endless possibilities of eyeshadow looks that you can create with this palette. That is why I'm most excited about it. If you are traveling, even though this Morphe palette is large in size, if you are traveling and you take this palette, you pretty much can just take this one palette. You can create daytime looks. You can create looks for spring. You can create looks for summer. You can create looks for fall. You can create, this is like all season long eyeshadow palette. There's a black, there are dark browns. Someone else said there weren't a lot of cool colors in this palette, but I kind of think that some of these greens and browns are cool colors. And I mean, how many cool colors do you need? I'm not a cool tone palette kind of person. I like warm tones and we know that Jaclyn likes warm tones as well. So there do seem to be more warm shadows in here than cool, but that is my preference anyway. So it's perfect for me. And I like the range of mattes. There are a lot of shadows in this palette that are similar, but the benefit of that is that a lot of times to create the gradient look and to really have this blended eyeshadow look, you need various versions of the same shadow. So you're going to need a lighter brown, then another brown that's a little bit darker, and then a darkest brown. You know, you're going to need ranges of that same color in order to get that eyeshadow look 
that you want. And one of the things I always love about Jacqueline's looks are how blended they look and how gradient her eyeshadow looks are. And a lot of times it's because she's packing on color in the same spot. So, you know, you're not just putting on one crease color, you're putting on three crease colors to get that gradient look. You're blending a lot, but sometimes you're adding and building on color to get the look. So I like that there are similar shades in the palette that build up in color. I like that. It seems like your shimmers are going to be shadows that you may need to like wet your brush in order to really get the color payoff, but I still love the shimmer shadows as well. Um, so I overall am very pleased. I am happy that there is a black. My two top eyeshadow palettes as far as the quality of the shadows are my Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills as well as the Queen of Heart, I think it's Queen of Hearts palette by Colored Rain. That one's probably my favorite actually because of the metallic eyeshadows in that palette. So this palette to me doesn't compare to those two palettes as far as just quality of shadows. Like I feel like I could blend those shadows, especially the matte shadows with like no effort whatsoever. So some of those palettes and some of the ones that are a little bit more expensive are more blendable um, and just this wonderful quality. But this palette for 35 eyeshadows, even though it is $38, you get so many eyeshadows. This is a really great affordable palette because I would still consider this to be affordable because you're getting more shadows than you do with the other two that I named. So I would still say this is one to have in your collection. It's a good palette. Morphe and Jacqueline did their thing on this palette. Other than some of my individual palettes, I don't have a palette that has these eyeshadow shades in them. Like I don't have a palette that has pool party and um, you know, some of these purples. Like there are just colors in here that I don't have already. I absolutely love hunts. Like this palette is black girl friendly. That's all I can tell you guys. If you're a woman of color, um, this is black girl friendly. Jacqueline is a sister. She she joins the sister club. So I just know I have gone on and on. I'm I'm really impressed with the palette. I will say that the cover and it, it will get dirty because I can already see dirt on my palette, but I don't care about that. You buy it to use, so I'm going to just try to be careful with it, but I'm going to use it because that's why I bought it. I'm really, really happy with my purchase, and I hope that I have helped you all if you are interested in buying this palette once it's back in stock. So this concludes my video for today. If you have questions or comments, please make sure that you leave them for me below. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, make sure that you click that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of my uploads. And I will be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out. So this concludes my video for today. I hope that you have found it to be helpful. I know that this was a long one. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and staying for... See, fireworks. Baby, you're a firework. Come on, let your go. I don't ever know the words. Somebody is somebody's setting off fireworks in my neighborhood because the 4th of July is just around the corner, but can they wait to the 4th, please? Okay. <laughs> So this concludes my video for today. So if you've been checking me out and watching this video the whole time and you have not clicked that subscribe button, that means you like oh girl and you need to click the subscribe button. I'm selfish, yeah. I want you out of my I swear you don't need nobody else. I swear I want you out of my